Covering South Georgia, the community of Lakeland coming together today, showing support for a teacher who is recovering from COVID-19. But her fight isn't over yet. While hospitalized for COVID, Jenna Bowling also lost her baby. Now, after almost three months as a patient, she's finally getting to head home. Amber Spradley has a story. Jenna Bowling was 25 weeks pregnant with her third son, Bryson James, when she was hospitalized with COVID mid-August. God had other plans. Her body's hyperimmune response to the virus interfering with Bryson's ability to grow. It's not uncommon that when somebody is very ill that the placenta will not be able to supply that demand for the fetus as it develops. Jenna's son was born early at one pound seven ounces, but died the next day, and her battle with COVID just getting underway. Jenna really hasn't had time to grieve because she She's been fighting to live. It's been one of the hardest things we've ever lived through. Facing major respiratory complications, Jenna's breathing declined. She was placed on a ventilator in ICU until ECMO, an external lung machine, revived her. I wish we could take credit for all of it, but that young lady is probably her own biggest advantage that she has. She is a true fighter. You know, I had had my mindset that I was going to beat it. Jenna is a first grade teacher at Lanier County Primary School. Her students and colleagues lining the streets in support their Day. We're very thankful and excited about Jenna being released today. It's been awesome to see our community come together and rally around her. What we realize is how important she is to our community. And arriving home to Lakeland, several local businesses providing this warm welcome. <laughs> Along with many more community members cheering for her recovery. Dr. Dawson says about four to six weeks of outpatient recovery time is ahead for Jenna. She tells me, though, her main goal is to get back into her classroom as soon as possible. Outside of South Georgia Medical Center, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. Jenna is also sending her praise to the inpatient rehab group at South Georgia Medical Center when she was too weak to leave her bed. She says they retaught her how to get up, put her shoes on, walk, brush her teeth, and even text.